Earth is floating in the universe. It's not too much to describe it with the word dust, because the vastness of the universe is far beyond human imagination. In order to better understand the smallness of humanity, I will take you from the Earth to the deepest part of the universe to explore a series of unknown ultimate mysteries. The first stop is the Moon. This is the only natural satellite on the Earth. It is also the only extraterrestrial celestial body that humans have ever set foot on. The meteorite pit on the back of the Moon records the history of it for billions of years. The next stop is Mars. This is the closest star to the Earth. Although it looks barren on the surface, it is the most likely planet for humans to immigrate to in the future. Soon we will cross the asteroid belt. This is a dense area composed of 500,000 small celestial bodies. The largest one is called the Ancient Star. It is about 950 kilometers in diameter. The next stop is Jupiter. This is the largest star in the solar system. Its volume is 321 times that of the Earth. Its surface has a storm sphere that is nearly as large as the Earth. It is called the Big Red Star. And Saturn has a very prominent star ring. It contains hundreds of millions of ice cubes. Each of them is a small satellite. The last stop is Neptune and Neptune. These are the two ice giants outside the solar system. This is the famous Kepler belt. So far, humans have had five probes here. Scientists speculate that our solar system is encircled by a huge spherical cloud. It is called the Oort cloud. Its diameter is about two light years. This is also the true edge of the solar system. After leaving the solar system, you will find more and more highlights like fireflies. Each of them is a star like the sun. All these stars are combined to form the Milky Way. The Milky Way is an ordinary spiral star. It is like an island full of silver light. Its center extends outwards along a few large cliffs. The Earth is located above the crater. Its core is about 260,000 light years away. When you leave the Milky Way, you can see a small cluster of about 50 stars. This is the star cluster. It covers about 10 million light years. It is like the Milky Way in the universe. When you go up, it is a supernova cluster. Its diameter is more than 1. 1 light years. It contains more than 100 star clusters. The larger Laniakea supernova cluster has a diameter of 5. 2 light years. It has at least 100,000 stars. If you continue to go up, the universe is no longer a uniform structure of stars, but a fiber-like universe structure. Tens of thousands of stars are driven by dark matter and dark energy and become a universe wall that spans a hundred billion light years. The supernova clusters form the nodes of the universe wall. They are separated by tens of millions of light years to billions of light years until they reach the edge of the universe. What will happen beyond this range? No one knows yet. But now that we are here, we must have a question worth thinking about. 